Hey guys, Camp and Steve here for another week of camping. It's my second last week out here. Just getting her set up. I've come across a tarp. The uh, mystery camper that was abandoned across the road. Turns out the guy, his father passed away and he had to take off right away and he left it here. So his friend came to pick it up and asked me if I wanted a huge insulated tarp, which would have really come in handy uh, in the past little bit, but spring has sprung and it's here. Today was above zero by a few degrees. Things are starting to melt. Everything's coming together. And that's great. The crows are out. Uh, it's full of life out here and actually, nice day. Uh, another couple of campers have came over uh, to the campsite. They're just setting up right now. And I got a few things that I'll just go through tonight. I've noticed a big difference between hardwood and softwood. Wood pellets for the wood stoves. It's not what you think. Uh, a few other things, I'll just go over my gear and stuff and uh, then we'll be hunkering down. So thanks for coming by for another vid and uh, gonna get started on this, uh, set up the stove and get camping. These wonderful little things, they cost almost as much out here as to fill up one of these guys. And I know there's videos everywhere on how to fill this up out of this but I'm going to school to study propane and natural gas. And the biggest problem with that is that these are just designed really for a single use. And you know how cheap everybody is at building stuff. They only build it as strong as they need to. So there's valves inside, there's a spit valve, relief valve there, that they're not really capable of repeated use. And I know people have done this a bunch of times and not had any problems. The biggest issue though, is if it is overfilled. You can't compress a liquid. So when this is full, full, full of propane, which some people do by pulling this guy out with a needle and just really filling her up, as soon as it starts to heat up, that vapor has a tiny, tiny spot to expand. And you'll go to 500 PSI in this in no time with just, you know, some sunlight hitting it if it's actually filled that much. So what I'm doing instead of that <clears throat> is this guy with a propane tree. And I got a spot for the lantern on the top, which is really good light, really bright. And then there's a couple of spots on the side that I can use for hooking up the propane stove and you know whatever other accessories I, I wanna throw onto there. So this has served me well. And there's hoses as well, and those have the same ends on them as that guy. I'm probably repeating this to a lot of you that know all about these, but. I figured I'd just show you in case some guys out there hadn't seen these before, but collapses down, goes into the bag, it's got little protective caps on it. And they make smaller cylinders than the 20 pound ones here. So this guy can be a bit much if you're doing like a canoe trip or something and you want a lantern, but you hate spending five to ten dollars on these stupid things. Uh, I've seen some refillable one pounders that are designed actually to be refilled but then there's ones like this that are just smaller and they're three pounders or something along those lines so that's i'm probably going to pick one up for the more outdoorsy back well not backpacking but canoe trips that sort of thing where you don't want to bring this with you so these guys a necessary evil for sometimes but uh Try not to fill them up if you if you can. It's uh, I know people do it, but I just wouldn't. After going to school for this, we watched way too many videos of these things exploding. So into the tent and we'll get set up uh, for the night. Hey hey, back in the tent. I'm just doing this quick because I want to use up any natural light outside that's still happening, so it's not too grainy and stuff. But uh, I picked up. A different bag of wood pellets than I've been using last week and I just blew through those. Now the brands aside, I'm sure it might make a bit of difference, but the biggest difference is one is hardwood, one is softwood. And I'm not an expert on wood pellets, but just my experience was the hardwood ones, I, I just couldn't put them in fast enough. They burned fast, they didn't throw off enough heat. Uh, the softwood ones I had great success with. So a little more digging. I realized that hardwood, you like to think it means oak or walnut or something, but I can guarantee you they're not using oak and walnut in these. They actually sell those differently for 
barbecue smoking, you know, good wood chips, so or even the pressed pellets. The uh, softwood, though, I know that's going to be, you know, spruce or pine or something like that. So I think the hardwood that could be something like balsa wood. Uh, that could even be poplar, alder, um, that type of thing, aspen. So I think it's pretty well not as high in BTU as this guy. I'm not going to do a test on them, but I thought I'll give that information. Boy, the people that showed up to camp, I think they're going to be loud tonight, so we'll see how that goes. They've got along pretty good with the other neighbor out there, and I've got enough studying and stuff to do that I have to kind of try and ignore them as best as possible, but uh, oh well, the joys of going to school and being antisocial. So here we get the stove set up. And I got a few more things on the list we'll go through tonight, and uh, then we'll hunker down. Time to burn. The fire is roaring pretty good. Doesn't take many pellets, particularly when it's nice and warm outside. The uh, campers outside might be a bit noisy tonight. So good thing I got a bit of studying done. Anyway. I do have to give a shout out right now to a few people that have made possible my alcoholism. So <laughs> for all the good people here who have sent me money for beer, I know it started with Honest Bob, but a few more contributors to the cause. It's certainly helping school go a lot easier. I normally don't drink fancy beer, but this is an Alberta craft called Electric Avenue by Wild Rose Brewery. and. Uh, Yeah, not a, not a twist off. I'm clearly not a fancy beer drinker, but uh, I can probably figure it out. Delicious. Time to invest in a bottle opener if I'm going to keep this up. But So, thanks again uh, to everybody who's helped, and uh, I, I don't expect any of that it's just really been a surprise so I, I appreciate that guys and uh, gonna start cooking some stuff up I'll show you the camera gear too that I'm using uh, I've, I've had a few people ask what am I using normally these videos are kind of sucky because I'm really using nothing but a table lamp turn on its side for for light in here or the lantern but uh, I, I have some neat stuff when I actually do more serious videos and I can be behind the camera operating it so I'll, I'll go through a little bit of this stuff. I got a sweet gimbal, so we'll dig into that right now. Mm -hmm. This part I'm filming with uh, the cell phone because I can't show my camera if I'm using the camera. So I just got a, it's a Canon Rebel T5i, I believe. And uh, I also use a GoPro here. And I got this neat little gimbal. And the way it works is to keep this completely steady no matter what I do with it. And there's various settings. Uh, this one, it makes a little bit of a buzz. So when I use this guy, 
I end up uh, using these microphones with it. I've been trying them on the camera too and working at that to give a little bit of audio quality, but what I really need is a wireless one because it's a lot of editing afterwards if I record it onto the cell phone. And I have a few lenses. Uh, anyway, I don't know if anybody's a real video guy, but this one is, uh, it's a prime lens, a 24 millimeter EFS. And the other one is the stock one that came with it, an 18 to a 135 mil lens. Then I have another 50 mil lens somewhere, but I don't use that very much. So that's pretty much what I'm doing this all with. And then I just edit it up on the, the Mac Air and it works all right. So that's what I'm using for, for gear. Here we are doing the meal. Um, <clears throat> it's Smokies tonight and one of the secrets I realized once when trying to pan fry these things was you need a little bit of vitamin beer. And what happens is that boils down and it creates like a caramelized beer candy coating almost by the time it's boiled down. We're not using the good beer for this, so don't worry. It's uh, an old one that's been frozen and rattling around in the back of my truck. And I figured this is the safest, best use for it. And uh, I won't use a ton of it, but uh, <laughs> the guys next door have been pretty quiet. Uh, the new guys that showed up, they're some German guys. And I went over to say hi and they didn't speak a whole pile of English, but the other neighbor that had been panhandling me went over to panhandle them and they disappeared real quick. Uh, so they're down for the night and it should be relatively quiet. And we'll fry these up, eat them up. Maybe I'll get this uploaded tonight, depending on how much data I have left on my phone and how big this video gets. So I will check in with you in a bit. Time to have a fully loaded smoky with, uh, well, not fully, fully loaded, but uh, ketchup, mustard, and sauerkraut, and then coil up for the night and uh, get back at it in the morning to go to school. Everything's quieted down nice in the campground, so I'll have a very good sleep tonight. Thanks, guys, for, uh, for tuning into this uh, new edition uh, of my adventures out here. Cooking it in the beer makes all the difference in the world. I know it's not charred out on a nice campfire, but well, yeah, beer smokies are the way to go if you got a spare beer. And you could probably use non alcohol beer for that too because it's cheaper here. But anyway, I got uh, another week and a half here. I'll try to get a few more videos up. And, uh, I didn't do anything majorly cool on this one, but who knows? We got a little bit of time left here. I got a lot of studying to do, but uh, thanks again uh, for all you guys for watching. And uh, till then, you're camping with Steve. Mm. Man, that's good.